morning, Mikey. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Welcome Good. to my house. Hey, look my, at this. My garden. Look at this. A secret door. Look at this. Yep. So you want to talk about your house, your backyard? It's a beautiful yard here. It's getting there. It's a two and a half year process. Two and a half years ago, uh, we started working on the house, and it was all ivy. Everything from the top to the, all the way down was all ivy. So over two and a half years, I've, uh, I've eliminated the ivy and <laughs> purchased a few trees. <laughs> want to talk a couple of your trees here? And these are your show trees, aren't they? No. These are just the, these are the ones that someday I'll work on. Uh, hopefully it will become something. I, I really kind of want to uh, develop my own style, but I don't have a style yet, so we'll work on it. This is Melville. This is, these, the top level is trees that Mel Carrillo left uh, in my care when he moved to Hawaii. So I'm uh, taking care of those, trying to keep them alive. Big shout out to Mel there. Yeah, Mel Carrillo. Yeah. Can you talk about your garden on this on these steps up here? Yeah, when we took the ivy out, we were worried about the um, the water erosion. So we started. My wife started planting an upper garden. So the upper garden is all her area, and the lower garden is mine. It's like my bench. I love it. It's beautiful, especially on a hillside. Really tough to to really cultivate plants on a hillside. And that's why I carve in little put in walls. That's pretty much all my kind of pre bonsai stuff. And here's where it starts to get a little interesting. Stuff that I've kind of developed myself and worked on and gotten raffles. How do you get, how do you get into bonsai? Oh, well, my wife and I used to go to the Huntington Gardens a lot. And um, we met Ted Matson one day and I went to, he, he does a video vlog or something called Definitely, or yeah, Definitely Now, I think, if you look it up. And I listened to this podcast and I thought, this guy is really talented. He knows his stuff. So we started, um, I just kind of started researching bonsai and got interested. And I've always liked plants, so it kind of came natural. And then when we moved into this house, I had plenty of room. So that's kind of how, how it started. It kind of started 20 plus years ago in my old house. This tree, those two junipers, and that one were planted in the landscape. So before we moved uh, out of the other house, I took them all out and I, I dug them up and repotted those. And I liked the, the way the trunk was. So we kind of put that in a pot and someday it'll be something. But so I've had that tree. I've been doing bonsai for over 25 years. <laughs> Basically, no, but that's... And I couldn't do a water landscape because it just wouldn't have worked. So. I used the Demondia as my water, and I created that escape from pretty much a uh, photograph that, from Lake Merritt in Northern California. Beautiful line. Yeah, thanks. Wow, look at that. What a view you got there. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about your favorite tree. Well, this is one of my favorite trees. This was a tree that um, when I first saw Al Rivera had it, um, and I liked it, I wanted it, wanted it. So he finally sold it to me. So I call it my Michael Rivera tree because Michael is always smiling. So when I see it, I always smile. So I always think of Michael Rivera when I see this tree. Aww. Good little kid, good little kid. Love that. So that's one of my favorites. Any else you like? Trees here? are that way. Any species you talk? Any species that? Uh, anything that'll grow. Anything, anything that'll grow. <laughs> Want to talk about that juniper right there? The cascade. Yeah, the cascade. It's beautiful. I uh, last summer, last uh, July, I worked seven days a week, uh, eight in the morning till midnight, and it was brutal. So I told myself that I was going to treat myself. And Tom Vong is an amazing artist, and he had that tree. So as a bonus for working on me you know, as I turned and I gave him the money and I bought it. Beautiful cascade. Yeah. It looks like scrapped it. it. It is. I think it is. It's really nice. It's one of my favorites. That's a uh, Dennis 
uh, what's knock the ugly out of it, which is Dennis. Nakashima. Uh, Nakashima. We went to his yard, and I loved his his uh, atlas cedar, blue atlas cedars, and it's gorgeous. And being typical Japanese, he said, "You take one." And I said, "What?" Go, "Do you have anyone you want?" I said, "What?" So I picked out that one, and so we'll go back every couple of months and have him work on it. You want to talk about your uh, your forest there? That's awesome. Yeah, it, that's that's kind of. <laughs> It's, it's kind of taken a while. I started with, uh, because of the word femina, I thought it was fomina. And my mother-in-law's name was Minna. And she was very special. So I decided to make a forest. So over time, it's evolved from, from you know, little twigs that I bought at House of Bonsai to that. Uh, Big Joe and Tom Lau, of course you, got me that tree at the bonsai thon So I had to repot it again. But I think it's in its final place. We'll see how that works. But that's one of my favorites. That's a big. Tr that's a big forest. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. I tried to tried to get Tom, um, or Joe and uh, Ted Matson to help me work on it, but they were this coronavirus. They couldn't come over, so I had to do it all by myself. That was hard. You want to talk about your benches? These some of these benches are really cool looking. Um, well, when we decided to pull the ivy out, I want, didn't want to put the pedestals in there because I, I knew I would have too many trees. So I just put up cinder blocks and ran uh, two by fours of redwood, stuck them in there. And they're easy to change and repair. And then, so, and this is, you have a display area on this side yeah. against the south yeah. facing wall, yeah. which is perfect. Yeah. This is uh, very important small area so I decided to put these pedestals in and they work really well I like them so that's like a two by four or those four uh, by four four by six four by sixes four by sixes yeah that's kind of cool I love I like how you uh yeah, so set I have them steel in. plates that hold it all solid together oh that's what's underneath yeah you want to talk about one or two trees here you got plenty well, here this is a tree that uh for years uh we always liked uh, Yosemite, and uh, Ansel Adams in the 40s or 50s did a photograph of a tree, the Jeffrey Pine in Yosemite, and it was known as one of the most photographed trees in the world. So when we saw that tree, uh, I thought, wait a minute, I can make that. So I took a slab and, you know, kind of tried to create my own little art out of it. I love it. Uh, it's yeah. really cool, especially the little accent plants you have in, in it. I mean, you really notice, looks like a meadow. Yeah. Awesome. Any other trees you want to talk about? Well, this, um, you asked about a favorite. This kind of is more of my favorite tree, and it probably has the most significance um, than any of the trees. In uh, February of 2018, I went to a Vicoan workshop. It was, uh, I thought it was a workshop. It was the first time I'd actually gone to buy Cohen I had been in other clubs and I thought it was a grafting uh, demo but it ended up being a grafting workshop and Big Joe I had barely met Joe and he said come here work on my tree and I thought no no it's okay it's okay and uh, Tom Vong was explaining it and I kept saying it's easy it's easy and Tom kept saying it's easy so when it time for the raffle they called my name which was that tree and I said see Tom it's easy and at that point, I realized that bonsai isn't about the trees, it's about the people you meet. And that night kind of changed my whole outlook on bonsai because I developed some of my better friends. And Tom Vong and Joe have been really close ever since. Um, yeah, so that's, that's why that's, that's one cool. of my favorites. That's kind of cool. I love, yeah, I love that's, stories of trees. That's one of my favorites. This was the first tree we ever bought. My wife, I didn't know what to get her for Christmas, so we stuck everything into a, a Rubbermaid container, and I said, here. She goes, what am I gonna do with that? And then I took it over, and the rest is history. It's a root over rock, I yeah, see. It's a, or a, a branch over rock. I keep it really <laughs> dense because it's an ugly tree. It's an ugly tree. But you but keep it for sentimental yeah, reasons. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and it's just to keep going. I love it. Yeah. One or two tips are for our, um, our viewers new members well I'll tell you one thing that's kind of a tip that I found this year is if you look at this umbrella um, a couple of years ago we had so much Sun that a lot of my trees fried so I bought this rectangular umbrella so when it 
gets really hot, I unfold the umbrella and it covers my whole area and it'll create shade. Oh, especially when you don't have yeah. a, a shade yeah. tarp or anything like that. And it's, it's easy, it's crank it up. Another thing is take a lot of, uh, take lessons, find, uh, I go through quite a few instructors uh, because you get a little from everyone. Uh, find your favorite and or favorites, and uh, just have fun with it. Fun, have fun with the hobby. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And you, uh, last but not least, you have to show the view that you have every night here. Uh, we have a tendency of coming out and having a cocktail or two or three. We're very fortunate. My wife grew up in this house, and then it was neglected for quite a few years, and we turned it, we got it about two years ago, and just have continually worked on it. And our reward is that we come out here at night, and no matter what the day is bringing us, we just kind of come out here at night and relax and talk and talk. It's awesome. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. We'll Thank zoom you. out to that view. Thank you. Thank you. Check that view. Out of here from uh, Hollywood. <laughs>